So as you can see, I put up the Blossom 62 um, matrix right there. Um, you can find them easily, you just Google for it. So as you can see in the Blossom 62 matrix, you get a score from going from any amino acid to any other amino acid. And so going back to my example, if we take a look at, for example, going from tyrosine to phenylalanine, phenylalanine, then in Blossom 62, that change would give us a score of plus three. Is that correct? Did I, did I lie or did I get that right? So if you look at tyrosine in the, on the left-hand side, and then you scoot along until you see phe, P-H-E, that's the abbreviation for phenylalanine, along the bottom. At the intersection of those two, you get a score of plus three. Yeah? So that means any time you have a protein where you have a tyrosine switching to a phenylalanine, or vice versa, then we'll give that match a score of plus three. Notice that if we have a phenylalanine going to a phenylalanine, i.e. not doing anything at all, staying itself, a phenylalanine going to a phenylalanine, that gets a score of plus six, right? Because if the, pro if the amino acid doesn't change, that's probably the best thing, right? And similarly, a tyrosine not changing at all gets a score of plus seven. So that's the score in um, Blossom. And by the way, the score in PAM250 is plus seven for tyrosine to phenylalanine. In contrast, if we take tyrosine, TYR, and we go to our friend aspartic acid, ASP, then the score there is minus three. The Blossom 62 score is minus three, right? The PAM250 score is minus four as well. And so what we're saying is to switch from tyrosine to phenylalanine, it's not quite as good as seeing either a phenylalanine staying as itself or a tyrosine staying as itself, but it's still not really that bad, right? That's okay, it's above zero. On the other hand, going from a tyrosine to an aspartic acid is a really big change. Remember the shapes of those, those structures that I drew, they're really different, right? And so if we go from a tyrosine to an aspartic acid, we're gonna put a negative, we're gonna put a penalty on that interaction. We're gonna penalize that interaction so that if we see a switch from a tyrosine to an aspartic acid, we downgrade it. All right, we're in the home stretch. Now you kind of know how the scoring works. Now you know how the little words work. All we've got to figure out to do is to just write the algorithm um, in C, and we're done.